everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a wonderful day in this video i am memory planning in my big vertical happy planner from the week which was last week may the 1st through the 7th and uh every week i try to recreate my spreads from the week before so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna use of course i had essential seasons and i used the spring ones and um, I also had a few jewel tone boxes because I needed different size boxes. I'm not for sure if I'm going to use any of this time because this is my memory planner and it's a big planner. And I do like to use full box stickers and double boxes and stuff like that in my memory planner because I got to write for each picture. So I have my pictures here. I'm going to get these down real quick and come right back. Okay, so I got all my pictures down. Saturday was senior prom for my son, and so I have a flip down right here. Actually, this picture did not. I kind of like slid it in under, underneath this one. So like, I didn't really glue it down like I usually do. So anyway. I have one flip down here, and I usually like to um, put washi on my pictures, um, especially when I have flips because it allows the flip, you know, and I like to um, use the washi to make it look like uh, the pictures are put on by washi. I bet you this green would look good. Okay, let's see, where do I want? I guess I'll put it like right here. No, see if I put the washi down, it'll cover up his head. I could put it down the side here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it down the side. And it can flip this way. I gotta get some wax paper. I had the wax paper sitting here that I've been using, but I threw it away after my dashboard playing with me because it was just getting, I'd been using the same piece for a while. Oh no, it's upside down. And oh, okay, I can pick it, pick it apart. All right, I gotta fix it. it. Usually if you flip it up, it's gotta be upside down. But I didn't do flip up. I did flip over. So now I gotta fix it. And I'm glad it didn't completely dry yet because that would have been kind of funny. <laughs> he went with a friend. Him and his girlfriend broke up about a month ago. So he just went with a friend. I'm kind of glad him and the girlfriend broke up because honestly, it wasn't good. Um, they were arguing all the time. And as 18 year olds, seniors in high school, getting ready to go to college, they shouldn't be going through that. You know, they're just too young to be, they were playing house and they were too young for that. And you know, it's a good thing that they broke up, but He's been tore up, and she's been, like, making his life horrible by starting drama. Every time you turn around, he's tore up. I mean, like, just, and you hate seeing your child like that. So, it makes me want to be, you know, mama bear and protect my child. But he, he won't let me, 
I mean, it's not like he tells me what to do or anything, but he doesn't want me saying anything to her because trust me, I have some things I could say. But he doesn't want me saying anything to her. So it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut whenever I'm watching my child be so tore up. And they're gonna be going to the same college, which it's, they probably will not run into each other. I mean, they're not gonna be taking the same classes unless they're both gonna be a marching band. Then they'll see each other then, but um, because he he's a drummer and he's been in marching band since eighth grade and it's already on his college schedule that he's in marching band. So unless she's gonna be doing that too because she's also a drummer, um, they won't be seeing each other. But I'll tell you, whenever we went to orientation a couple weeks ago, she was there. And if she did not know before that day that I didn't like her, she knows now because every time we saw her, I, my face probably said a lot. And then like there was these, there was this boy and this girl that was walking around with us and we were in the dining hall eating and she came in and they said that I looked like I was ready to kill somebody and I was like, well, I mean, you know, she's in here and my goal is to make her feel uncomfortable. I probably did make her feel uncomfortable, but you know what, I mean, I hate to be that way. We're all mature adults. We could be mature adults, but whenever it comes to someone messing with my son's emotions and he's like, literally, I mean, I feel so bad for him. Sometimes he just, he is so tore up. He just, you know, balls and cries and it's just, it's hard to see him that way. So anyway, all right. Um, this was senior night at the track meet, and I have a lot that I need to write about that day. So I'm going to use this double box. And then I wonder if this double box will fit here. No, it won't. I don't want to cover up that picture. So I guess, I guess I'll put it here. Okay. All right. This little it says collect beautiful moments. I'm going to sneak this in. I guess right here. I'm going to put it like right there, like this. I'll rub out the air bubbles. I really like this little kite. It says spring vibes. I don't want to have to cut anything off. Well, I, I want to fit it up. Well, maybe I won't be able to fit it up there. Let's just put it, yeah, let's put it right here. It'll, it'll be fine right there. Okay, I need to put more boxes down here. So I have this for senior night. Um,. Put this down here. It'll cover up a little tiny bit of that picture, but that's fine. I think I am going to go into this and see if I can find just a blue box for this picture right here. My cat, I don't know which one it was. Well, I guess I won't be able to find a blue one. I don't know which cat it was, but they brought in a bird 
a dead bird and just dropped it into my living room floor. Put this cute little enjoy life right here. Put that box right there. I'm gonna put that right there. That's crooked and I'm not gonna be able to fix it because I got it over top of a picture. Oh well. Let's pop spring fun right here. Okay, let's move on to this page. So I have this double box for all the prom stuff. Let's see how this fit right here. I mean, I know it'll fit right there, but. Um, let's put the best day right there. I wanted to put this like right here, but it's got lines going this way and it says notes. So I can't do that. I could put it like this though. Bring it down a little bit more so it's not covering up that covering or on the picture a lot. I don't know why I can't speak today. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into this book and get a small box for this because I don't need a big box for that. And I'm gonna put it in right here because I want to put like one of these decorative boxes right here. Like that. Oh yeah, and we've got like these little butterflies that have like little sayings in it. So like this one says, love this. I'm gonna put it right there. Put today right there. Put love this right there. And this today right there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try to put in, pop in some of these florals and butterflies in, in some places. So, put this butterfly here with that kite. It even kind of matches the patterns on it. I mean, it should, the same stickers. Not really the same stickers, but out of the same book. I wonder where I can sneak this little bunch. Put it right here. Okay, so I got the scraps from that that I just cut. Man, somebody locked their doors. Like, you know, whenever you lock your doors in your car and you got the little beep. And, of course, he heard it. And now he's, like, whining. And won't stop. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to sneak one of the little scraps in right there. And I guess I'll just put this other one right beside of it since it's just really small. Like that. Okay. Here's a butterfly. Fit it in right there. All of these like small little floral pieces are perfect for just putting in at random places just to fill in some space. Actually, I can just lay that over top of the picture. It's fine. It's just a tiny little bit. It's not covering anything. So we got these three tiny little pieces and that whole sheet is done. So let's see, where can we 
little pop these little things. Put this one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Put this one down here. This one right here. I have one more of these left. It says every day is a new beginning. I'll put it right here. Okay. I have um Oh, you know what? These are birthday and celebrate, but there's also these like yay stickers. And that applies to getting that work right there done. And this one, actually. So I'll sneak those in right there. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to this. Um, I have a few more florals that I can put around in places, but um, I don't think I'm going to. I think it looks, you know, like it's got enough. <laughs> so this is my memory spread from the week of May 1st through the 7th. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.